Tonight, Russia is making new threats as the U.S. is finalizing plans to send its Patriot air defense missile defense system to Ukraine. The Biden administration could make an announcement on that as soon as this week, as we reported first right here on CNN. Let's go to CNN senior international correspondent Will Ripley. He's joining us live from the Ukrainian capital of Kyiv right now. So, Will, tell us more about what the Kremlin is now saying. Wolf, tonight the Kremlin is essentially saying that once Patriot missile defense systems arrive here in Ukraine, they will become a prime target for Russian airstrikes that, as of late, have been targeting the civilian power infrastructure, which is exactly why the Ukrainians have been calling for the Patriots, because they want to prevent millions of people from being plunged into the dark and the cold as we get ever closer to the start of winter and temperatures are already well below winter temperatures that most of us are used to experiencing. It is frigid here. People have been dealing with power outages for weeks and Russia tried to do it again here in Kyiv, just a short distance from our hotel early this morning when many people, including some CNN staffers, woke up to the sound of explosions. A terrifying way to wake up in Kyiv. Oh, no. The chilling buzz of another drone attack on the Ukrainian capital caught on camera. The rumble was like from a moped. That was the sound it made, says Svetlana. It fell behind the houses, and then there was a strong roar, an explosion. Some buildings left on fire, hit by remains of the destroyed Iranian-made shaheds as they fell. Some landed near a local soccer field. Did you hear the explosion? Yes, of course. We all wake up. It was bomb here, first part, and the first, second one part near the entrance of the training base, and the third one near the forest. So a few hours later, the consequences could have been much worse. And you have kids playing soccer. No, here. it's six o'clock for happy now, but... Uh, but they would have been here had it happened later. Uh, yeah, later, yes, because we have a tournament here. It's... Authorities say Russia launched the drones towards Kyiv on Wednesday, aiming them at the already battered power grid to sow fear and chaos and potentially plunge millions into the dark and cold. This time, all the drones were shot down. Ukraine's president, Vladimir Zelensky, says... The terrorists started this morning with 13 shaheds. According to preliminary information, all 13 were shot down by Ukraine's air defense systems. Well done, he says. I'm proud. Ukrainian defenses less successful in Kherson. Authorities say multiple Russian rockets hit this administrative building in the heart of the southern Ukrainian city. Authorities say nobody was hurt. Inside, the damage severe. Entire sections destroyed. Ukraine says attacks like this and the one in Kyiv aimed at wearing down the Ukrainian people, trying to break their spirits, reduce support for resistance against Russia. But here in Kyiv, people refuse to give in. You are brave people. Yeah, children, I, I can see parents, that. yeah, women, old men, it's, it doesn't matter. They're so brave. Bravery on and off the battlefield. And in southern Ukraine, in Kherson, the Russians have gone from occupiers to attackers. They have been relentlessly shelling and rocketing targets, including an administrative building. Wolf, people are dying on a regular basis. Russia also reportedly using cluster bombs against civilians in Kherson. Will Ripley reporting for us. Thank you very much, Will. Uh, joining us now, the former U.S. ambassador to Ukraine, William Taylor. Ambassador, thanks so much for joining us. Russia is now warning, as you heard, that it will, quote, immediately target these Patriot air defense missile, missile systems once the U.S. provides them to Ukraine. Give us a sense of how these Patriot air defense missiles would change the battlefield potentially in Ukraine's favor. Well, these are the most sophisticated air defense that we've got, and we're finally providing them to the Ukrainians. We should have, in my view, we should have done it earlier, but now that they are en route, now that they are going to be, the Ukrainians will be trained on these systems, they'll be able to knock down at a long distance aircraft, cruise missiles, ballistic missiles. These Patriot missiles are extremely effective against this area. Yeah, those of us who have covered the Middle East know that when the U.S. started to provide these Patriot air defense missiles uh, to Israel, it saved a lot of Israeli lives because rockets and missiles were coming in from southern Lebanon or from Gaza. And, and the Patriot air defense missile system really prevented a lot of those from making any impact. Absolutely. And I got to believe that's been the 
the impetus for making this decision. This is a big change. The Ukrainians have been asking for it for a long time. Since Why has it was, taken so long? It's the right question. I remember just as I left in 20, 2020, I had a final meeting with President Zelensky. He asked me specifically for patriots at that time. So that was two years ago. Yes, they've been asking for it for a long time. There have been questions about how long it's going to take the train, how long it's going to... One big question, Wolf, is there are not that many batteries. There are not that many Patriot batteries that are available. So they've got the question. But now that this horrible attack, these horrible attacks on infrastructure, on energy, on electricity, that mean that, uh, that the Ukrainians, just as your reporter said, they're trying, the Russians are trying to break the Ukrainians. And they're not. They're failing. 